Well, well, well. I think we all have to agree that yesterday's surprise was and is going to be hard to top. I also must say that I feel a bit foolish in not picking up on the goat at the end, or at least I think it was supposed to be a goat. I honestly don't see very many goats or sheep in real life, but do know that from the press release that goats are now confirmed for Farming Simulator 25, being added along with water buffalo we already knew about. One other thing that we learned from the press release is that goats will be used for their milk and that the milk will be able to be processed into cheese with new productions. Now today, Giants is giving us a blog post with a bit more explanation as to what is going to be going on with the evolving weather changes in Farming Simulator 25. Now I do want to preface the rest of this video with the fact that I am struggling a bit with this blog post. It might just be that I'm extremely busy at work or that tornadoes are extremely rare in my neck of the woods, but I am having a bit of a hard time with the lighthearted nature of how they are being treated in this blog post. Now with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the new information we have today. Longtime viewers of the channel know that I do not like to just read to you the blog. I figure you guys can do that on your own. I do want to give you my spin on things and how I interpret the blog post. And I'd love to hear what you all think and your interpretations in the comments below. Weather changes. And as we saw in the trailer today, in the trailer we see a story play out about a seemingly normal autumn day where folks go to work, farmers are out in their fields bringing in the fall harvest, but a keen eye may notice that the light changes. Clouds seem to darken off in the distance, wind change direction, and the temperature starts to drop. Something big is coming. I think we can all relate to this, and it looks like from the still images provided today, as well as from the trailer yesterday, that this is something we'll now be able to experience in game. Previously with Farm Sim, as we know, we had sunny or cloudy skies, and then just suddenly, there was rain. It was like an on and off switch, but with FS25, the way I am reading things is that it appears that we'll be able to observe the evolving changes leading up to the switches in the weather. Of course, the blog post is focused on two extremes with respect to tornadoes, which in my opinion should never be taken lightly, and hailstorms, which also, if one is caught out in one of those, well, you're very much looking for the closest cover that you can find. The press release from yesterday and the blog post today references unroofed bales. Well, it appears that either we will lose these bales that are not stored away inside buildings, or they will simply be scattered. The writer of the blog post takes on the role of someone who is interviewing local residences about the storm. We learn about a young 36-year-old first-generation farmer who feels that he has suffered a disproportionate amount of damage to his small field as a result of the tornado or hail, or maybe even both, losing about half his crop and all of his bales. Now, he even is going on and quoted as saying that his shed was damaged. So maybe we'll also have damage to not only our crops, lost bales, but somehow our buildings will also be damaged. I was saying just yesterday after the trailer launch that it would be interesting to see the build contract mechanism be added in such a way where we have to deliver, let's say, wool or steel to the buildings to repair post-storm damage. Another local resident who makes his living as a lumberjack commented on the damaged dead trees. Now I thought it looked like those trees might have been broken half or dead ones from the trailer, but it seems possibly like this may be a reason to clear dead trees from your land to prevent them from being damaged during a bad storm. I suspect if we try to deliver these broken trees to the sawmill, we're gonna get a significantly smaller amount of money for them. And then we close out the interviews with a local old retired farmer who has a bit more positive outlook on things, saying that, well, good weather always follows bad weather sooner or later. Our blog closes out with a comment about maybe talking to these local residences in November to get their own perspectives firsthand. Now, this is not the first time Giants has hinted that we'll be able to talk or at least hear from local NPCs. If you are so inclined to pre-order and have not done so already and are on PC, please consider using my fill link in the description below. I do get a bit of kickback on the usage of the link and it will help me move a little bit closer to becoming a gold partner with Giants. 
console players or those looking to pick up the collector's edition or maybe you just like to have a physical copy of the game, there's also an Amazon affiliate link in the description. Please be sure to like this video so YouTube will recommend it to others that have similar viewing habits as well as subscribing to keep up to date with all the new information coming out about Farming Simulator 25 and post launch. I'll have plenty of how to videos and of course we will continue releasing map guides as the new Farming Simulator maps are released for FS25. Until next time, happy farming.